Long Cowboys fan, glad I learned that. Good day, everybody. Welcome into First Take. Appreciate you being with us. Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith, Molly Karam here with you. Gentlemen, what's the good word? I, I just cool. appreciate your being here after a long night of celebrating your birthday yesterday. Mm. And you, you actually look no worse for the wear. You, you look like you, you actually got two hours of sleep, maybe. Oh, I got plenty more sleep Did than you? that. I got mm. plenty. I even, went to, I even went to New York City, spent some time with the family. Oh, good. And I got honored with the role model award uh, in Newark, New Jersey. A really? role? That's you? Right, right on sports. Appreciate the love. Thank you so much. But you? That's right. Wow. The great Peter On King, your birthday? Board of Trustees. Chris wow. Broussard's a part of it. That's huge. It was wow. honored yesterday, so I appreciate it humbly. Thank you Congrats. so much. Congrats. I'm glad That's you enjoyed honest. your birthday. Well, by the way, did you see what happened? Let's let America know what was happening prior to this show. Yeah, what? let's let them. Well, 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 you well, dared well, me to bring this up. Bring so this you up. Bring what? It. What? Skip Go Bayless. ahead. Skip Bayless, we actually had to sit here and watch <laughs> and wait while Skip Bayless was getting his eyebrows done before we would have appeared they, on They National framed TV. the baby blue. And had the nerve to say that that's Look the it. reason we got ratings. That's had the yeah. nerve uh -huh. to say that. And, and by the way, just a little context yeah. for our viewers. Okay. The only reason he noticed is because for once, he actually came out a little early. Oh. He didn't make it just for the barely the start of the show. Right. Right. So he actually saw what happens every mm. morning, yes. right on schedule, two minutes before showtime. Mm. The beautiful Hope, our makeup yeah. artist, comes out and does my eyebrows. Now, I don't need any more makeup like you. You need like 20 minutes in the chair. I just get my eyebrows. Just a little touch well, well, let's, let's That's all I need. All the rest. Oh, Time be, out. Who has the let's best be, eyebrows? Let's be very, you do. Yes, but let's be you. very, very clear. The only reason Skip doesn't need that much time in the air is because he spends about 40 minutes in the bathroom doing his own. Let's keep Stop that it. in mind. Let's not forget Stop that. Okay? Look at me. Do I look Let's like not I have forget any that. And, and, and oh, by the way, yeah, 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 but, but we I all know you do like it. Like we Beyonce. all know you do it. And by the way, the party doesn't start until I arrive well, anyway. Really? Oh. That's why I can make you yeah. wait. Oh, all Let's hell. go. Wait, Let's I, go. I underestimate. I think you spend 45 minutes in Hope's makeup Please. chair. Five right? minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes. I've got every arena that I go to when I got to drab on something, mm -hmm. it don't take me more than five minutes. Yeah. It don't matter. I leave the beauty to other people. I, I don't try to look as flawless. good. Well, you you should it? work on your eyebrows a little more. Maybe I should. Yeah. The eyebrows look all right. I feel like I'm complimenting you guys too much lately, but both yeah. these looks, they're nice. I think Looking clean. I think I'm doing all right. Oh, gosh. So, Enough. Bernard so. Hopkins is going to join us later. I don't know if he gets his eyebrows done. Don't miss that. But we kick things off with America's team. Showtime's Inside the NFL ran the sound yesterday of Tony Romo on the field after the Cowboys lost to the Patriots. This was an injured Tony Romo, of course, saying to Brady, see you in February. Confident Romo, Skip. Are you OK with this bold statement by your guy? Stephen A. Smith, I, I must admit, I would have liked it a lot more if Tony Romo had actually been wearing shoulder pads, which would have indicated that he actually played in the football game that had just ended on the field. And obviously, Tony Romo can't play a lick of a real game until November 22nd. That seems like a long time away. It's a game at Miami, mm -hmm. and that's only if the Cowboys feel like they need him to risk quick re-injury of his broken collarbone mm -hmm. because it's possible which i've acknowledged that with the backup quarterbacks my cowboys could fall to two and seven by that point and i, I have a fear that jerry jones would say and eh, do we even need to take a shot at this at that point it will all depend obviously on dez's ability to heal a lot faster than we think that he might be able to heal so now back to your question i like tony romo's newfound confidence I like the message that I think he was trying to send to his teammates, which is basically for them to sit back and say, my goodness, our quarterback, our injured quarterback, went up to Tom Brady, sort of a la Richard Sherman a few years ago back mm. in Seattle, mm -hmm. and trash-talked him right to his face. Bad, bro. Slapped him on the, yeah, that's exactly what it was. Slapped him on the shoulder pads and said, hey, see you in February. <laughs> Wow. Our quarterback did that. So I, I, I kind of like that message, but I got to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm always honest about my Cowboys, whether you think so or not. It came off as a little weird and a lot awkward. <laughs> That's what it came off. It was awkward. And, and it felt like Tony Romo had rehearsed it in front of the mirror. Like he, he'd sort of, okay, I'm going to say it like this. Like he had really planned to walk up to Tom Brady and utter that line. Mm -hmm. And the embarrassing part about it was that Tom Brady pretty much just ignored him. He kind of gave him a little, 
you know, like, yeah, who are you now? That's Brady. Who are you? Patriot oh, oh, Way. okay. And then he turned his full attention to Brandon Whedon and warmly shook Brandon Whedon's hand because Brandon Whedon had actually played in the football game. Didn't play very well, got his butt kicked, but, but still, at least he played, and Tom was willing to honor that by shaking his hand warmly. So, Stephen A. Smith, I am hanging in with my Super Bowl prediction. Obviously, when, when you, as you saw that sound on that day, did I have any idea I was going to lose my quarterback and my best receiver and the best receiver in pro football? I had no idea. So I'm clinging to my Super Bowl prediction because I need Matt Castle to win a couple of games. I don't need this team to be 2-7 and seven when Romo returns. If you give me 4-5 and five when he comes back, I got a chance. And I'm going to say this one last time. If Romo does return in this team, team gets 100% healthy and hot and manages to just eke into the backside of the playoffs in the last playoff spot as a wild card, NFL, you better look out because here would come my Cowboys. We've seen lots of teams do it as the road wild card team, starting with Aaron Rodgers back in, what was that, like 1888 or when was that? That was like decades ago mm. when he did pulled off his Super Bowl. But Aaron Rodgers did it. Tony Romo is fully capable of doing it because this team always plays better on the road. So I would love my chances as a road wildcard team. I just need to get in the tournament, and I'm not sure they're going to be able to pull this off. Mm. Your thoughts? See this photo? Yeah. That's it. Is that what you recall? Is this accurate? This is accurate. Well, Tony Romo basically slapping <laughs> Tom yes. Brady on the chest affectionately yeah. as Tom Brady basically pretty much looks like he's a... I don't think he was affectionate. So, I think he was trying to get his attention. He's trying to get like, his attention. Look so, at me. So, so in other words, Tom Brady was ignoring him, correct? He ignored him. Okay. I wonder why that might be. Mm. You know, it's interesting that you bring this stuff up because, you see, I understand you, like Cowboy Nation, the typical pathetic cowboy fans that you are, uh, no sense of reality whatsoever, living in fantasy land uh, uh, in the mm. past, uh, th thinking that this is 1995 or 1992 or 93. That's just the way those that you were all the are. Years. Those were the years. Those, yeah. those were the yeah. days. You know, I was there. You know what? You know what? I remember. Yeah, it was great. Listen, listen. I remember when Sanford and Son was out, and yeah. it was a beautiful. It was a special <laughs> day. I remember when Archie Bunker was out, and you know, you know, it, with either with Edith trying to sing with that voice. I remember those days. I remember the Jeffersons. Well, that was I their remember, song. Those I remember, were the days, I remember, right? I remember good times. I, mean, I remember a lot of things from the past. Mm -hmm. It was incredibly affectionate. It was a beautiful thing to see. I still watch it from time to time and reminisce about the good old days mm -hmm. because it's special. But at the end of the day, when I get up in the day, and I go about the business mm -hmm. of conducting my day. Yep. I have to live in reality. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the reality of the situation is, is that that picture of Tom Brady and Tony Romo uh, was a metaphor for what actually transpires. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what actually should be the reality that you and the pathetic cowboy nation out there should obviously accept. That is mm -hmm. that you're not relevant. Don't come to me. Shake my hand and continue to move on. Whether you're wearing a sling or not, you're really not not that relevant. You're not that relevant because I'm the reigning defending Super Bowl champion and on top of it all, I've got four Super Bowl championships mm -hmm. on my resume. Yep. You guys haven't had a Super Bowl championship in 20 years. You've got a quarterback that's in his 10th year that's had a grand total of two playoff victories. Do you understand that you actually need... Wait, he's got three. That one at Green Bay. No, he doesn't. Oh, okay, two. Go ahead. Do you understand? Let me put it in this proper perspective for that pathetic Cowboy Nation. Yes, I said it for the third yeah. time. Uh, that Cowboy Nation out there. Do you understand that in order to win one Super Bowl championship, you have to win a minimum of three playoff games? Mm -hmm. Just to win one Super Bowl. He hasn't won three in 10 years. Mm -hmm. Three playoff games in 10 years. Okay. You need to win three in one year to capture a Super Bowl. He hasn't won three in 10 years. And your point three is? Players. What I'm saying to you is that at some point in time, you must understand that the only reason your Cowboys are relevant, the only reason we can talk about them on the show, the only reason Cowboy Nation is relevant is because y'all are interested in popularity. Mm. You understand? Not actual mm. substantive value. The Dallas Cowboys, as it pertains to winning, as of yet, 
have no substantive value. Now, they are coming off a 12 or 4 season. They did win the NFC East. We do understand respectfully that Tony Romo and Des Bryant are out. And if they were healthy, Skip Bayless, mm -hmm. these Cowboys would not be 2 and 3. They would likely be somewhere around the realms of 4 and 1, maybe. I'd possibly 5 and 0, oh, but definitely possibly at least 5 and 0. Oh. Definitely at least 4 and 1. I'll give you that. Yes, thank But the reality you. is, is that. Over the course of 20 years, there are a multitude of things that have gone wrong with the Cowboys. There have been injuries. There have been suspensions. There have been just ineptitude, okay? There has been a hype machine that was too hyped and didn't, and, and didn't validate its own hype. There are a multitude of reasons, but in the end, what it comes down to is that the Cowboys, you and Cowboy Nation, need to face the reality that the only reason... They are relevant is because of you all with your pom-poms, waving them on, thinking that they're going to be something that they're not as of yet. Mm. They're just some regular old team. They just got the star in the helmet with the owner with the billion-dollar playbook. Were, were they last the year only a regular special. old team? Well, you know what? They were one of the playoff teams last year. Oh, they were okay. one of the playoff who, teams. Who won the East? Well, it doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter well, to me. Well, it mattered matter on that me. day you had to well, wear that. Well, no, it mattered that right? day. That yeah. day. Hey, listen, dead clock is right twice a day. Oh, they got me they that day. Right all last they got year. me that, that way. They got me that all way. last all year, all, all the way through the all season. All I'm trying Pick to that? say to Woo. you is that at some point in time, it's not it's not your fault. You are a victim. You have been contaminated. A victim. You have been I'm contaminated. The leader of it. You have been contaminated by Cowboy He's a Nation. Villain. Okay? You are a victim. I'm the I don't head even of Cowboy blame Nation. you. I, I don't even blame you. Let by. me tell you I, just, I set the tone okay. for. Did you know what? All I ask is that everybody recognizes that as much as you hate the, as much as you love the Cowboys, mm -hmm. I despise them because of Cowboy Nation. Mm -hmm. The the worst fans in America, as far as I'm concerned, oh, are the really? Cowboys. That's right, I said it. Mm -hmm. Cowboy fans. You know why? Because y'all don't deal with reality. Cowboy Nation is irrelevant. Cowboy Nation really should, they don't deserve to be discussed by us only because of you and I, I'm going to roll with it. But mm. you're, all you're doing is jinxing yourself and dooming mm. yourself. All you're doing is setting the stage for a bunch of excuses for you to be depressed when they fall flat on their face. And at some point in time, America will stand up and other the, the Steelers fan, the Ra even the Raider fans, the Patriot fans, and the Giants fans, everybody will rise up and say, you know something? Bump, Cowboy Nation. Y'all haven't Bump? been irrelevant. Well, I can't. I, I know I what you're going to say. FCC. Yeah. It's yeah. FCC. You're a role model. Be but careful. Let me, that's, there we go. So the point that I'm trying to make <laughs> yeah. to you, the point that yeah. you know, I, I believe I am. I believe I am. Let's stay I believe I am. But, but I'm, I'm here to tell you, I'm just, I, I can't stand the Cowboys because of your fan base, because y'all don't live in reality. Every week you think like the Cowboys won a Super Bowl. Y'all haven't done anything, and that's the problem. Did they fall on their face last year? Help me out. No. No, they did not. No, All they, year long. They, they just not. lost at the end. They, but they did. Did they fall on their face? No. Did they embarrass themselves? They did, no, they did not. Was it a shameful no, they, performance no, they did not. at Lambeau no, Field? No, they Where they got robbed because we all know it was a catch? Do you realize? Back me up, Cowboy about, Nation. Do you realize you. that if the Cowboys had beaten the Eagles on Thanksgiving Day, do you realize that the Cowboys would have had probably they would have had home field advantage and that yeah. catch that I wasn't a catch you, that call would not have been made against. I'm saying it wouldn't road. have been we, made we, against. We were them. lucky to be it Detroit. It wouldn't have been made against them. All I'm trying to say to you is this: I, like I said, I, I, I listen. It's not just your fault. I go on my radio show. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what subject I'm discussing. Yep. The Cowboy fans call up all the time. They just sit there. Mm -hmm. They lie to you my producers. Why? They lie to my no. producers to get on the line because they want to talk about their useless team, okay, who hasn't won a Super Bowl in 20 years. All I ask, all I ask, could, mm -hmm. could, could, could you get to a Super Bowl? Mm -hmm. Could you at least visit? Could you at least show us what Roger Starbuck showed us, what Troy Aikman showed us, what Tony Dorsett told, uh, showed us, what Two Tall Jones showed us, what I mean, what, what, what Deion Sanders and Michael Irvin and, and Emmett Smith showed us. Could you at least we do that? Names, yeah. Could you do that? I, no, no, no. I know Cowboy. I know we all know those names. Mm -hmm. But over the last 20 years, 
The only reason we know Romo is because he messed up so much before he became relevant. And, of course, Des Bryant is a stud. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Yep. Think I, about I, it. I have to make one quick point. I'm just saying. Here. Sure. Cowboy Nation is relevant because it's the biggest, baddest, most loyal nation in all of sports. And you're going to have to swallow that and accept it because it's just the truth. They are the America's team because they have the most fans of any team in any sport in the world, spread all over the world. Cowboy, Cowboy international let me tell you, nation. Let me tell you something. Cowboy fans are pathetic because they're boring. And they're boring. predictable because they're predictable. Because they hang Everybody, in with their they, team? No, no, because everyone knows what they're going to say. You lose by 40, you lose by four. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Oh, we got cheated. Oh, it just was a they bad day. Oh, oh, you know what? We'll be back next week. That's mm. been the story for mm. 20 years. Yep. You don't live most, not all, because there are exceptions to every rule, not all, but most Cowboy fans mm -hmm. don't live mm -hmm. in reality. Y'all are nauseating. You right. continuously force people to want to throw up because we're yep. tired of talking throw about y'all because y'all haven't won anything yet. Win something, mm -hmm. please. Okay, now, back to the original question that this woman asked us. Yeah. I thought I answered that. No, no. you did not because <laughs> I answered it to start with. And the way, help me out here, Molly. Did I say go, Tony, go in my answer? No. No, I did no. not. I said I do have a problem with it. It came off, it came off as weird and awkward. And then you're accusing me of having no objectivity about my Dallas Cowboys? You know Cowboys? why? Because you only say that because you're worried that it'll get in the way of your ultimate goal. So you meticulously dissect anything that somebody says if it gets in the way of your ultimate agenda, which is to ensure that you facilitate the Dallas Cowboys. Let me show them. Let me facilitate? tell the world. Let me tell, let me tell the world. Play. Let me tell the world. Let me tell the world how Get his awful you are as a fan. Does Skip want the best against the best? Not at all. If Brady, if, let me finish, if it don't matter who it is, if Brady or Rodgers or anybody else had to go down and get hurt, for the Dallas Cowboys to win, Skip would wish that. Skip doesn't want to wish harm on anybody. I don't anybody. want Tom Brady to go down. You don't want anybody to get hurt. You don't want anybody to get hurt. What I'm saying to you is this. Me, I'm a Ric Flair fan. Woo! To be the man, you've got to beat the man. Yeah. I think like that. You, on the other hand, if everything, I mean, if there was accidents, if there was this a flu, so if, there was a, if, there was, if, if there was right right if there was a flu virus going around, whatever, whatever it took, to facilitate your team Ooh, winning, virus. you would do it. You know what? I didn't even go there. Not virus, but I'm <laughs> well, want to know the truth of what happened? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hyped. You know. No. When, when that rookie from Philadelphia yeah. went out of his way to crush Tony Romo's shoulder into the turf in Philadelphia, I can't even remember his name, Justin Hicks. Or Who something cares? From Texas. Well, it was a cheap shot, and he you admitted that. He remember. admitted after the game, right. I attacked him, mm. okay? But when that happened, and then obviously that, that followed Des Bryant, taking one little wrong step and his little little toe breaks, whatever you call it, a Jerry Jones fracture, whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. Stephen A. Smith, somewhere after this show, was dancing. He was dancing in front of his mirror somewhere because Doing he his got eyebrows. the two. He, yeah, he was getting his eyebrows <laughs> done so they could dance up and down. Because you got the two biggest breaks you've ever gotten in your career. Because my Super Bowl mm. prediction was so dead on that this team was going to roll through the NFC and probably would have had, maybe unfortunately for me, home field advantage through the playoffs. That's how loaded and talented this team is. But you're the one who got the break, and now you're all giddy, and now you're attacking Cowboy Nation because. To be the best, you didn't have to beat excuse the best. Me, excuse me. That's what just happened. Excuse me. Do yes. I look giddy? Yes, you do. No, I you don't. You have look been giddy. giddy. Let me explain you, you something. You were giddy let, in your let answer. Me explain, let me explain yeah. something. You're up on your soapbox nope. because you me, got no. two huge. Once again, breaks. this is just strategy. You want to interrupt me because you don't want me to oh, say what oh, I want to say. I'm the one who talks this too much. Saying, I let you talk. Oh, I talk a lot, but you I don't interrupt talk? you. That's an upset. I let you talk. Yes, I do. For the record, let me say this to you. Upset. Let me tell you this. <clears throat> I'm going to say this, and then we're going to move on. Okay. I'm sick of your pathetic cowboys. Okay. Here's the deal. I am the kind of person I want the fall mm -hmm. to be precipitous. Mm -hmm. I want the fall. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to fall off the curb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to fall off the mountain. Like a Six Flags you ride understand? all it, the way. Nothing, mm -hmm. absolutely nothing yeah. mm -hmm. would please me. Mm -hmm. See, you go on week to week. Nothing would please me more. Then to watch Tony Romo and them ball out, 
run through the NFC, run through the playoffs and everybody's hype. And then the Super Bowl comes and then, then you know what? They, 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 they've got the game in hand and then Tony Romo throws a pick six to lose the Super Bowl. I mean, that's the kind of epic stuff I'm talking about. I would I take it. I, 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 I would take it right I, now. But see, but see, that's the difference. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying to you is, I don't want the Cowboys to lose mm. during the regular season and be relevant, irrelevant. What's fun, is, what's, there, what's fun is there in that? I don't want that. I don't want them to sit there and go into the playoffs and you know what? Oh, you know, they just stink up the joint so easily. No. I want, I want, I want your hopes elevated. Mm. I want you yeah. gung-ho about them. I want you bragging about them. I want you hyped about yeah. them. And right around the time that no one anticipates Hates, they collapse. Boom. That's that to me is more enjoyable than them losing during a regular season. You, you know why? I'm mad they lose now. I want them to win now. You want to know why your logic is so terribly flawed for your own benefit? Right. If that happens, right. if my Cowboys do get to the Super Bowl, right. what do you have to do? For the two weeks leading up to the Super Bowl, you have to wear I cowboy on, paraphernalia. Let, 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 let me be very Am clear. I right? Let me be very clear. I would lose a lot of weight that week because I'd be throwing up a lot because it would make yeah. me sick. Yeah. But I will tell you this. What would make up for all of it is what I just described. Okay. Mm-hmm. If they rolled up in the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. the Dallas Cowboys have the lead. They just need to run out the clock. They're about to win a Super Bowl. And then all of a sudden somebody, somebody fumbles or th- throws a pick six. That would be so beautiful. I, I must admit to you, it would be a lot of fun. But by you then, know? you would have thrown up so much, you'd be down to like 96 pounds at yeah. that point because okay. you would have had the two worst weeks of your career, if mm. not your life. Am I right about that? I was, you would have to I, laud and applaud my I, Cowboys well, for think, two I, whole I, weeks. I think I'm having it now, man, having mm-hmm. to talk about these boys because yeah. I got to tell you, they haven't done anything. We all know they're going to, at best, you're going to be three and six. I um, mean, so you're going to be, yeah, yeah you're going to be three and six. I'll take four coming and five. Into the Miami game. I don't know. You're going to be three and six. Uh, you're not gonna. You're gonna lose at least three. Uh, you know, four to the next five games, or three of your next four games, rather. That's just the way that it's going to be. That's life. We understand it. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Call me when the Cowboys become relevant again, because mm. at this moment in time, they're just not. Molly, I- I'm sorry, but. In a rare instance on this show, I'm going to have to amend my opening answer to your first question. Sure. Okay? I now change my answer about how I feel about what Tony (laughs) Romo did yesterday on Sunday. Yes. I loved it. (laughs) You know why? I'm going to say, to use your word, bump objectivity here. I loved it. And I want him to do it again and again because we are going to go to the Super Bowl and we are going to lose to the Patriots in the Super Bowl. I stand by my prediction because you have hit my deepest button on this issue and you are going to pay for it, my friend. (sighs) Mm. Mm -hmm. Last time Cowboys made anybody pay for anything, I can't even recall. Mm. You know, they're irrelevant. They're only relevant to you and Cowboys Nation. Yeah, well, you know, Cowboy Cowboy Nation Nation, dominates. My last thing Cowboy Nation is pathetic. I Mm -hmm. said it. Okay, unrealistic and pathetic because of it. That's what I said. They, Jerry Jones and Wood with y'all. Today. Y'all look like y'all been hypnotized for crying mm-hmm. out loud. It's just embarrassing. Mm-hmm. It really is. Nothing relevant Hang about in, y'all. Cowboy Nation. Hey, hey, you take your badge off? That is throwing me off the whole show. Everyone what? knows who you are. You really need that? No, I, I don't know who he is half the time. I'm, thi- I'm not thinking anybody's, you know, oh, I'm sorry. My bad, go. my Th- bad. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, it's thank throwing you. throwing me off. We all know who you are. Well, why do you wear it on your... <laughs> Because I got to get in and out through the building, man. Oh, well, I, I don't mean, what, what escorts. Do just, no, I don't Stephen A. Smith, I don't, I don't the have role model. I don't have escorts. I don't All have right. Escorts. Up next, we're talking a little Tom Brady. Some Hall of Fame quarterbacks had some things to say about him. We'll tell you what they said. That's after the break.